Uh, my name's Dominic James Murray, um, and I'm CEO and independent financial advisor at Cameron James. Um, I've been in the UK pension transfer industry for over 10 years, and welcome to the channel. So today, we're gonna be talking about final salary pension transfers, also known as defined benefit pension transfers or DB pension transfers. Just first point of reference, all of these terms are interchangeable. You may find them online written in lots of different ways, but they all mean the same thing. So why are we talking about this topic? Final salary pensions are what you would have built up when you were working in the UK with your former employer. Your contributions would generally have been automatic as well as the contributions from your employer. Now, if this was 10, 20, 30, or even 40 years ago, these contributions would have grown significantly over the course of time, meaning it may well be one of the largest assets you have. As such, it's very important to be doing your homework um, on these pensions. Now, the reason they've grown is because final salary pensions have a number of benefits attached to them, such as index linking, uh, RPI, um, and things like that. So we're gonna be doing more videos like this. Um, so if you wanna subscribe below to keep in touch, um, or if you ever wanna reach out to me directly, you can click on the link to go to uh, contact us on the website. You can also click on the link to book into my Calendly, or you can even drop me a WhatsApp um, when you feel comfortable. So. In terms of final salary pension transfers, what's the conflict, so to speak? As I already mentioned, there's a lot of benefits of holding one. It's safe, referred to in the UK. Um, it's with a scheme that you've worked with for five, 10, 15, 20 years. Uh, you also have index linking, uh, which means the investment growth is guaranteed um, per annum. Uh, there's also other things such as spousal benefits. Uh, in the event of your death, 50% uh, of your pension pot will pass on to your spouse um, at your normal retirement age. However, the other side of the equation is the possible disadvantages, and these are the reasons which my clients consider transferring their pensions. Number one, you don't have access or control over the pension pot. This means that your pension pot is invested with everyone else's. Now, your risk profile may be very different to one of your former colleagues. They may be conservative, you may be adventurous, you may be balanced, whatever it is. You don't have control over how that pension pot is managed. For example, some of my clients might have other significant wealth and they're looking to try and make the most of this pension pot, take advantage of tax-free growth rather than playing it safe, um, so to speak. While some of my other clients, they might want to bring the pension pot even more conservative. Maybe it's one of the only assets they have and they want to be very careful with it. Some of the other advantages include currency. So say for example, you're living in the United States. If all your pension and retirement income needs is gonna be in US dollars, Having a UK pension in pounds leaves you open to currency risk um, if markets change. Um, so again, that's another factor. The biggest factor um, or thing that people, people feel caught on is that once you can complete a transfer of your final salary pension, you can actually pass on 100% of the value to your named beneficiaries. Now, this is not limited to your spouse or your partner. This can be anyone. It can be your children, it can be your wife, it can be your husband, it can be your grandparents, it can be whoever you're thinking of that's most appropriate to pass the capital onto. This is a very big difference from your UK scheme where only 50% of the annual pension uh, will go to your partner or spouse. If we just break that down very quickly, what that means is, say your pension pot is worth 300,000 pounds and they're offering you an annual pension of 10,000 pounds. If you were to die during your retirement, 50% of that 10,000 pounds would be paid to your partner or spouse during their retirement. If they were to subsequently die, that pension pot would die with them. It wouldn't be passed on to your family or beneficiaries. If we look at the other example of that, once you've completed a final salary pension transfer, if you were to die, 100% of the total pension pot would pass on to your named beneficiaries. So say it was worth 300,000 and after five years, you've been withdrawing 10,000. It's still worth 250,000 pounds. If you die, that 250,000 pounds stays inside your family, your beneficiaries, or whoever it might be. And the important point is that you have full discretion. You might say, my eldest son is over the age of 18. I would like him to have 50% and for my children under the age of 16 for it to pass to my wife or whatever you, however you want to set it up inside your family. So that's a really, really key um, important point. Um, so when it comes to how do you solve this situation, well really you need to speak to a pension transfer expert to understand if a final salary pension transfer is in your best interest. It's very important for me to explain and the FCA makes this very clear, we have to start off from the assumption that a final salary pension transfer is not in your best interests. So for example, if I have a client come through to me, his pension transfer value is the only real asset he has for his retirement. He has no capital, um, he has high 
buy outstanding mortgages um, and he doesn't have much property, it might not be advisable for him to move a guaranteed income for life away from that scheme. In which case, we would normally advise them of this quite quickly and let them ask them if they still wish to go ahead with the process. The other side of the coin, we might have somebody who has a high asset outside the UK pension and they actually want to maximise this UK pension pot and not leave it in a UK scheme because they don't need the guaranteed income for life. Sounds great, obviously, a nice position to be in, but if you've already built up significant assets, why should you be controlled over what you do with your UK pension pot and how you wish to take um, uh, those withdrawals out from it? So this is a very big area at the moment and one which the FCA has done a lot of work on to make the process um, uh, more compliant um, over the years. The reason for this is 10 years ago, I can tell you now, if a client had a final salary pension transfer, I would say, or the advisor would say, can we have your passport, proof of address document and your application form for UK pension? That would be enough to transfer their pension. You had full free will over what you did with your UK scheme. Unfortunately, due to some unscrupulous advice, um, a lot of people transferred their gold-plated schemes into substandard pension pots, particularly in the offshore market, where it was invested into poor quality investments and solutions. Some of these poor quality investment and solutions ended up in being complaints with the FCA. The FCA at some point said, we've had enough of this. And about four or five years ago, they introduced a rule to say, if your defined benefit pension is above 30,000 pounds, you must legally take advice from an FCA regulated advisor and company to ensure that a pension transfer is in your best interest. Now, I'm going a little bit off, off topic here and I've just thought I'll do a video on this uh, myself, but that rule was put in place because there was too much uh, freedom uh, of people being able to move their pensions. So yes, it's added a little bit more complexity um, to transfer in a final salary pension. It's also added additional cost, but the underlying message from the FCA is they want people to be certain. If it's a big pension pot and you're looking to transfer it, you need to make sure you take specialist advice. Um, there's another video on pension transfer specialist, which I've done, which would be very helpful for you to read as well. So I hope you found uh, today's video uh, very helpful. Uh, remember to subscribe below if you want to see more of this. And if you want to reach out to me directly and discuss your own personal situation, feel free to contact us through the website, book into my Calendly, or even just drop me a WhatsApp. Um, okay, thank you guys and I look forward to speaking with you um, on our next video. Bye-bye.